Hello and welcome to this Bure 7 for Rhino video. In this video, we'll take a look at a new way of creating environments with the help of Gaussian Splat. Gaussian Splat are point cloud information gathered through photogrammetry. This is a method of 3D scanning environments and objects to create a 3D representation of your subject. To create the Gaussian Splat for this video, we utilize drone footage that captured a 360 degree view of a city landscape. This data is then fed to a program that generates point cloud information of the scanned area. After which, it was time to move to Rhino. The Gaussian Splat can be imported from the Import Proxy button. Immediately, you will see your point cloud information. When importing the Gaussian Splat, there should be some additional adjustment to make everything up to scale. The Gaussian Splat acts as a proxy and has all the same parameters. So let's increase the scale factor and flip the axis so everything looks proper. The preview of your Gaussian Splat is by default limited to the point cloud view. To get a more detailed representation, you can increase the preview percentage. Other very important parameters are the color and intensity. By changing the color, we can add a tint to all of the environment. In cases where the scanned data is a bit underexposed, you can use the intensity parameter to brighten up the Gaussian Splat to a more balanced state. After positioning the Gaussian Splat in place, you can start rotating around and observe your scanned area from every angle. The primary advantage of using Gaussian Splats is their ability to place your assets in realistic environments. This creates a much more realistic context, enhancing the photorealism of your project. So let's add a building from the Chaos Cosmos and make sure that we can blend it with the environment. The moment we position our object, there is a very noticeable difference between the environment and the building. The reason is that the building we added from the Chaos Cosmos doesn't cast any shadows. To make both models interact with each other, we will need some contact shadows. Because the Gaussian Splat is not a 3D model, it does not receive any shadows. One way of creating contact shadows onto a surface of a Gaussian Splat is by creating a shadow catcher. To create a shadow catcher model, we'll use the point cloud preview and recreate the shape of the building right next to the skyscraper we just added from the Chaos Cosmos. Once that's done, we need to apply a special material called wrapper. This material will allow your objects to receive shadows, but it will not display any color or reflections. To achieve the desired effect, we need to enable alpha contribution, matte, and shadows. As you can see, the Gaussian Splat still has accurate textures and reflections, and we get the shadow from the shadow catcher object. Using Gaussian Splat is a very effective way of placing your objects in the right environment and making them look even more photorealistic. This is just one of many new functionalities added in Vue 7 for Rhino. Hope you found this information useful and helpful. Thank you for tuning in.